Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Chromebook tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to live stream to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and several other streaming platforms, all from your Chromebook, and you can even multi-stream. And to live stream from our Chromebook, we're going to be using a company called StreamYard, and you can get here using the affiliate link in the description. If you want to support this channel and this video, please use that link in the description to sign up for StreamYard. Now, before we get too deep into this, I do want to say that we will be using the free version of StreamYard. They do have a paid version. But we can stream directly to Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook from our Chromebook using just the free version of StreamYard. So to get started with live streaming from our Chromebook, open the link in the description of this video for StreamYard, and then go up into the top right and select Get Started. From here, we need to create our accounts. So we need to just enter our email address and then select Get Login Code. Once you go through that process, they'll send you a code to your email. So check your email, get the code, and that'll be how you create your account. Once you've created your StreamYard account, you'll be brought to the Add a destination page. And this is where we can add live streaming platforms such as YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, or even LinkedIn so that we can live stream to those platforms from our Chromebook. So if you're trying to live stream to any of these such as Facebook or Twitch, go ahead and select that option. I'm just gonna do Twitch as an example. So I'll select Twitch. It'll bring me to Twitch where then I need to log in. Once you log into your Twitch account, you'll need to grant some access to StreamYard so that they have the ability to live stream on your Twitch account. So make sure you look through this and you're okay with it and go to the bottom and select authorize. Once you select authorize, it'll bring you back to StreamYard to the destinations page where now, as you can see, your Twitch account is linked to StreamYard. If you wanna add more destinations, maybe a Facebook page or a YouTube account, you can select add a destination and go through that process again with that other streaming service. So now that we have a destination added, we can start live streaming by simply going to broadcast right here in the left menu, and then going to create a broadcast. Go ahead and select new broadcast. And then once we get to broadcast two, you just wanna select the destination or your streaming service that you'd like to live stream to from your Chromebook. So for this example, I'll be doing Twitch, give it a title, and then you can add a category if you'd like. And then once you enter your title and your category, go ahead and select create broadcast. In our live stream, if we plan on using our webcam or a microphone, we need to give StreamYard the ability to include those in our live stream. So go ahead and select allow mic and cam access. And then you should get a little pop-up that says allow. So go ahead and select allow if you wanna use those. And then as you can see, the microphone and the camera will start being displayed. You can test out your microphone here and see if it's picking up audio. If you need to change the camera, maybe using an external camera or USB camera, you can do that through the little gear right here. And then you can select the camera in the dropdown or select a different microphone. You can enter your display name and then enter the studio once you're done editing your camera. All right, so now we're in the studio and this black box right here is going to be kind of an example of what your live stream will look like. Now that we have our webcam added, if you wanna share the screen on your Chromebook, maybe to live stream a game like Roblox or Minecraft, something like that, you can do it by selecting share in the bottom menu and then going to share screen. Go ahead and select share screen again. Once we do that, we'll have a couple different options in different ways that we can share our screen. First, we can share our entire screen and this is going to be anything that is currently displayed on your Chromebook. And this is good if you're streaming a game and you wanna include the game audio in your live stream. So you would just select this and make sure you select share system audio for that. You can also share an individual window on your Chromebook or even an individual Chrome tab. And that's what I'm gonna do just for simplicity. So I'll share my blog and notice if you're doing a Chrome tab, you can even share audio from that Chrome tab by just selecting the share tab audio at the bottom. Once you've selected what you wanna share on your screen, select share. And then as you can see, the black box now contains my screen. Now that we've added our screen, and you can see it on our live stream here. If we wanna add our webcam, just hover over your webcam and select add to stream. And then it will kind of bring it up like that. Now that we have some content in our stream, such as our webcam and our screen, we can change the layout using the menus right under your live stream. So we can go straight to webcam. We can go to webcam overlaid the screen. Or we can go to just screen. And they have several other different ones you can play with, especially if you're inviting guests to be on your live stream. And you can do that by just going to the invite button here and sending them a link. Before we actually go live, I wanna show you some of the other features that I think StreamYard has that are really cool. So if we go over in the right over here, 
you'll be able to see all the comments that are being posted on the live streaming services that you're streaming to. And I'll show you how that works once I go live. You also have the ability to add banners to your live stream by selecting banners in the right menu here. Where, as you can see, if I just go over one and select show, it'll display it on my live stream so I can have questions or polls or even highlight different topics that we're going over in our live stream. You can hide it by just selecting hide. To create one, I just need to go to create a banner, add the text, and then I can even have the text scroll at the bottom, kind of like a news ticker. Select add banner, and then I can select show. And as you can see, it adds that ticker to the bottom. So I can have my patrons or something like that that I want to display on my live stream. Additionally here, we can go to branding and change some of the colors and the look of your live stream. If you want to remove the StreamYard logo up here, you can do that if you have a paid membership and then you can add your own logos. And you can also add your own overlays or video clips, things like that, including a background. Additionally, at the bottom, they have background music that you can play just to add some life to your live stream. So now we're ready to go live on StreamYard. To do that, all we need to do is select go live in the top right. Go ahead and confirm you want to go live. And then when you see end broadcast here, that means that you are now live streaming. You can see how long you've been live streaming right here, as well as the amount of viewers you have. So now as you can see, when I go to Twitch, I am live streaming. And if I leave a comment, it'll show up over here on my live stream so I can see the comments. And there it is. If I want to highlight that and bring that up on my live stream, I just select show on the comment. As you can see, it brings up the username, also their profile picture. And then it brings up the comment so that I can discuss that comment on my live stream. If I want to remove it, just go back over it, select hide, and then it'll be removed from the live stream. Once you're ready to end your live stream, all you need to do is go up to the top right, select end broadcast, and then confirm, yes, you're done live streaming and you want to end your broadcast. And there you go. We're no longer live streaming. All right, so that's how you live stream from a Chromebook. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more live streaming or Chromebook tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.